Hi everyone. How are we doing? Oh my goodness. I have missed you guys so much. I am uh I don't I don't I don't even know where the wood is right now, but do you hear that? Need to knock on wood because I don't want to say this and then completely, you know, take it back, but I have been really really sick and finally <laughs> finally I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm starting to feel um, better symptoms and I don't know what was going on for a while I'm gonna make a separate video explaining what happened and you know just it was just a whole bunch of crazy stuff happened so I'm gonna let you guys know why I haven't been on for a couple of weeks and oh that's better turn up the contrast Ellie okay so <laughs> so uh, today as you can tell by the title Blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be turning myself into the Corpse Bride. Um, it's literally a race against time because it's 3 p.m. and the sun's supposed to go down at 5 p.m. and my sister wants to take pictures of me. So it's like the first time I ever ha get to have like f professional photography of me and my makeup. So I don't think she's going to be that hard to do. So let me talk while I do this. So I really don't think she's going to be that hard to do. She's mostly just like a really light blue color and I'm not going to have to draw on her bones because I actually bought bones. I know you're like, what What are you talking about? You bought bones. And it, it's probably not what you're thinking of. I didn't buy like fake bones to go on my arms. I didn't buy like a fake hand or anything like that. I don't get the money for that. But <laughs> I bought um literally tights and gloves. So that's what we're gonna use in, you know, instead of like actual fake bones, which I can definitely cannot afford. Okay, so where's my spray bottle? Need my spray bottle. Where are you? It's right it's right it's right there. See? See where I'm pointing? It's right literally like right there. Of course it is. Stop messing around. Okay, so I was looking at a picture of the Corpse Bride, and I'll incorporate one here to show you guys. But she literally has really not that much going. Like, she why, why, why did I say going? She obviously is adorable. She's a really cute character. But she's blue, but she's, like, light. So let's see if I can get, like, a light wash without looking completely streaky. I need mirrors. I can't just do this in the viewfinder. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Imagine. Um, oh my goodness. Is that a video you guys would like to see? Like, doing your makeup without a mirror, like, only being able to use the viewfinder, and then, like, later on, like, actually looking. <laughs> that would be funny. Like, obviously, maybe not one of, like, the bigger YouTubers would be able to do that because their viewfinders and their materials are amazing, and mine obviously is not. I hope everyone had a good New Year's. Um, hopefully, you got your New, Ze New Year's resolutions in. Um, I'm not really a big New Year's resolution person. Um, can I tell you, like, when I was, like, in my 20s, every single time I made any kind of, like, New Year's resolution, I realized that if I ever said it out loud, it never came true. So, like, any time I told someone, you know, what I wanted to do, yeah, I would try to pursue it, but then, like, just because someone gave me so much praise, it almost, like, took away from doing the entire experience, you know what I'm saying? Like, it really, I don't know, I'm just that type of person where I don't really make New Year's resolutions. I just, you know, always want to be, like, a nicer and better person, and if that means just being a little patient with people, or just trying to put myself in other people's situations, like, to me, that's worth it. To me, like... If you just try to better yourself, then, you know, that's the ultimate resolution. Like, just to be a better person, you know? So, to me, I'm just like, be a better person. Be a better mummy. Like, be more thankful that you have your mom around to watch the baby anytime you need to take, like, a smoke break. Or, you know, just small stuff like that. You know, I feel like, especially being thankful. When you're thankful for the small things. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. But... There was a study done, I forget where, but it was in, like, some college or something like that, but it was a psychology study, and they said that, like, people who write down the things that they're thankful for every week or even every day, like, even if it's the smallest thing ever, like, I'm so glad that I didn't get caught in traffic today. Like, they say that the more you write things down and the more that you are aware 
of like things could be so much worse and you just keep thinking positive they say that like that really can boost up your confidence like they say almost up to like 50 percent they say it like really boosts your confidence <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Gross. <coughs> Gross. I just got done smoking like not even an hour ago, so all that mucus is coming up. But you guys, I've always wanted to do the Corpse Bride and never really had a chance to do her. That sounded wrong. Obviously. Oh my goodness, you guys. So lately I have been really into watching, for some weird reason, I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. When it comes to new YouTubers, or I'm talking about you, new YouTubers to me, like, so not even new YouTubers, but like, YouTubers who have like millions and millions and millions of subscribers, like, I'm just so skeptical. Like, I don't know if I'll like them. And then um, I like, even when I first was watching Christine from simply no logical like when i was watching her videos like at first like all of her comedic things that she would say and like even her just being silly when i first was watching her videos i was like oh my goodness okay okay stop okay that's enough you know and now i literally laugh the entire time because i know her now you know i feel like oh i feel like i know her i know i know people are like you don't know her hello you just watch her youtube videos duh I know people. People think people and people say they think they know people just by watching their videos. I mean, I'm definitely not tricking Cody anything. Like obviously, I'm like talking in like six different tongues and not speaking proper English, or my grammar's always off, or so. What you see is what you get, honestly. Like, I might be more open. Like, if anyone were to ever come up to me and be like, "I watch your videos," I would be like, "You gotta be kidding me!" I would literally lose my mind. Like, I don't know. Am I talking through this? Maybe you guys just want to see me turn into the corpse bride. So if you just want to see me turn into the corpse bride, maybe I should just do a quick skim of making myself blue. Okay, you guys, it's literally it's been ten minutes and I'm not even all blue yet. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this blue is potent, man. By the way, if you guys are wondering, I always use uh, Maron body paint, the water activated ones, because I can't afford any alcohol activated paints just yet. So not yet. Oh my goodness, so um, before I got really sick, you guys, I had filmed a couple of videos. One was like a Fashion Nova video, and what else? Gotta make sure you don't show that titty online. It's not a good idea. What was I even talking about? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody in the back? No? Watch, I'm gonna be editing this. I'm gonna be like, you were talking about this. Good job. Is this a bad idea that I'm making myself blue first? Probably not, because it's body paint. So hopefully it should last a couple of hours. This is the first time I've ever had to like, literally paint down all my arm. Like, never had to do that before. I mean, someday I want to wear, like, a full body paint and just, like, go out in it, but good luck to me, because I'm literally going to be like, mm -hmm. I'm going to be making the weirdest faces the entire time. I'm going to be like, nope. Because <laughs> I am skinny, but that doesn't mean that I'm comfortable in my own skin. Like, I don't understand why people think that when they're skinnier, that they'll all of a sudden feel more confident. Like, it's literally in your head. Literally in your head. And I don't know how you feel more confident when you're mad cold like please tell me how you feel so much more confident when you're mad cold unless you live in like LA if you live around here being skinny is not an advantage let me tell you it's literally like my mom checked the degrees earlier I think it was like 10 or 11 in the morning and she goes how how cold is it today and you know what happened I literally go 10 degrees and like just for no reason and then she looks on her phone and she goes, ha, it's 11 degrees. And I was like, are you serious? I was like, I was off a freaking degree. I almost said a dollar. I was off a dollar? No, I wasn't off a dollar. Okay, so she's supposed to look dead. So I mean, she was living at one point. This elbow. Elbows don't like body paint, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm just making that up, but I just I had to say that. Because apparently mine does not.
Come on, Noble. Cooperate. Watch, we're gonna go out there and take a picture. And my sister's gonna go, what happened to this area? And I'm gonna be like, God damn it. Watch. It's gonna happen, I know it. It's really gonna happen. That's the area. You guys, it feels so good to like feel well again because for so long I was literally like just, oh my God, for an entire month, I was not feeling good. So I mean, I don't want to think about that anymore. Race against the clock. I literally looked at my arm and I was like, why isn't it blue? Because you did not paint it yet, you idiot. <laughs> I literally looked at it and I was like, I hope, I hope you can see my reaction in the video. Because I'm literally like... <laughs> I don't think I had a reaction. I think I only had like a mental reaction. So... Awkward while I fill in my titty. <laughs> mm. One side may be darker than the other. I will fix it, okay? I will fix it. You guys, I love watching Friends. I could literally watch Friends all the time. And apparently I can make a mess all the time, too. What the heck is with this hair? Why do I have that song stuck in my head? Have you guys ever seen uh, the movie Crybaby when they? Well, oh my god! I keep literally th I keep freaking throwing shit on the floor. So the part in Crybaby when wait, what are they doing during that part?
Is it when they're running away from the cops? I can't remember, but it's like, ha no, 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 like, I don't know why, but, like, that's literally stuck in my head right now. It's probably because I'm like, go, 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 and I'm just, like, on, like, I picked, like, the quickest song, possibly, to get stuck in my head right now. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me? I also haven't seen that movie in so long, and that's literally one of my favorite movies. So just in case the gloves look like really gimmicky, I'm just like not gonna incorporate them. Be like, bye bye. I don't think uh, I don't think they're gonna look that bad, but you know, if I have them on and they just look to you know, kind of weird, my sister will let me know. She'll let me know if they look weird or not. And then, you know, I might hide one hand, or I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm gonna have a bouquet, and I have a veil too. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! So. Um, when I was making this dress, I actually dyed it myself. It was, <laughs> this dress was actually supposed to be like a wedding dress that I wanted to wear when I was dating my ex-boyfriend. And since that all went to hell, I decided to do something with that wedding dress instead because it's actually not really my style anymore. And I got it like really cheap. I don't know. And I actually kind of want like one of my best friends to design my wedding dress because she doesn't design wedding dresses and I don't know I just I promised her that I wouldn't be a bridezilla when it came to my dress if she would design my dress so hopefully she's still up for it but oh my goodness she literally designs like the nicest nicest gowns ever um, I will put her down below and I also like wore one of her gowns in one of the thumbnails in my dress collections so you guys have definitely if you're a subscriber of mine and have seen my dress videos you've definitely seen her dresses in those videos so yeah she's the best and I haven't seen her in so long oh my god literally I want to drive up to her um her studio and go hang out with her or just I, I don't know I just want to go see what she's up to I want to buy a dress I want to do all kinds of stuff but Right now, I can't afford it, so I can't do that. But when that opportunity does come, I'm definitely going to take you guys along with that, me because, oh my god, her her studio looks really cool, and the dresses that she's been making look really cool. I don't think she, like, shows anyone her dresses, but she'll obviously, like, probably, like, tell me of a couple or show me the dresses she has on display. I'm so excited. And I, I miss modeling for her organization so much they were just such a good group of girls oh my god like like anytime someone like didn't like have a perfect walk like it was literally not a problem like everyone was so encouraging and everyone was like well just do this next time or you know like it, it looked good but then at the end just you know perfect the way you turn and you know and everyone was like okay thank you and just took you know great constructive criticism there, you know? <laughs> I'm starting to pick it up. No. <sighs> okay, this is bad. Um, blue double D double da double G da da double G double da. I literally had to do that at least once. Okay, so I think I'm going to take some blue powder and maybe powder my face and hopefully that will help a little bit. I don't know. Or maybe... Maybe letting it dry and then rubbing it in might help. I don't know. Maybe I need to be, maybe I need to mix it more. I feel like I'm going to be really blue and I don't want to be that blue. She's really not that blue. Oh. Oh, this is really blue. went overboard oh my god this is bad this is not good okay so now that I'm really blue and I'm not supposed to be this blue I'm probably supposed to be like this blue this actually looks really gross it's all blotchy and 
It's a good gross though, because she's supposed to look gross, she's dead. It's literally picking up everything. Oh my god, this is not going good. I'm probably sure prime my skin. And more pancakes. Hi ha. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Okay, so let's try a sponge. Let's see if that works a little better. I doubt it will, but we'll see. Stay positive, Ellie. Stay positive. You can do it. This whole time, I'm just gonna make myself blue. Oh, apparently. 